Located on Naval Air Station Oceana, Dam Neck Annex, Virginia Beach, Virginia, the Marine Corps Intelligence Schools is organized into a headquarters element and subordinate detachments. All subordinate detachments are on other service intelligence training bases or stations such as Fort Belvoir, Virginia, Dam Neck, Virginia, Newport, Rhode Island, and the Joint Expeditionary Base, Little Creek, Virginia. MCIS headquarters maintains regional intelligence training centers at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Camp Pendleton, California, and Marine Air Ground Task Force Training Command, 29 Palms, California. The Marine Corps Intelligence Schools provide entry and advanced level training to officers and enlisted professionals in the military occupational specialties of 0202 Marine Air Ground Task Force Intelligence Officer, 0203 Ground Intelligence Officer, 0204 Counterintelligence Human Source Intelligence Officer, 0205 Master Analyst, 0206 Signals Intelligence Ground Electronic Warfare Officer, 0207 Air Intelligence Officer, 0211 Counterintelligence Human Intelligence Specialist, 0231 Intelligence Specialist, and 2602 Signals Intelligence Electronic Warfare Officer. The Marine Corps Intelligence Schools is also an advocate for foreign language training and military occupational specialty 8621 Remote Sensor Operator. Additionally, Marine Corps Intelligence Schools provides oversight for Marine Corps Detachment, Fort Belvoir, Virginia, provides entry level and skills progressions training for enlisted Marines in the 0241 Imagery Intelligence and 0261 Geographic Intelligence Military Occupational Specialties. Marine Corps Detachment Naval Station, Newport, Rhode Island, trains Marines in Marine Aviation Logistics to serve as 6602 Aviation Supply Officer, 6604 Aviation Supply Operations Officer, and 6694 Aviation Logistics Information Management System Specialist. Naval Justice School, Naval Station, Newport, Rhode Island, trains Marines as 4402 Judge Advocates, 4421 Legal Service Specialist, and 4422 Legal Services Court Reporters. Marine Corps Representative Center for Security Forces Detachment Kittery, located at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Maine, provides the necessary knowledge, skill sets, and methods for surviving, evading enemy capture, resisting exploitation, and escaping from captivity to selected high-risk personnel. Marine Aviation Training Support Detachment, Naval Air Station, Oceana, Virginia, advocates for a headquarters Marine Corps regarding policies, requirements, standards, and proficiency levels for training Marines in aviation specialties. Marine Corps Detachment, Naval School of Music, located at the Joint Expeditionary Base, Little Creek, in Fort Story, Virginia, ensure students meet military occupational specialty training standards for occupational field 55 and are prepared to support requirements throughout the Marine Corps. And Marine Corps Representative Center for Service Combat Systems Detachment East, located at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia, provides liaison support for Marines attending follow-on courses for Marine Avionics maintenance training. I'm Staff Sergeant LeMoyne Henry. I'm Sergeant David McKenna. My name is Captain Daniel Wood. My name is Staff Sergeant Zavala. I'm Gunnery Sergeant Christine Shaw. I am an instructor for the MAGTAF Intelligence Specialist Entry Course. I'm the lead instructor for the Sensor Surveillance Operators Course. I am currently the company commander for the Counterintelligence Human Intelligence Training Company. I'm an instructor at Center for Naval Aviation uh, Technical Training Unit. I'm an instructor here at the Naval School of Music. Our primary mission here is to train basically in qualified intelligence professionals and we strive hard every day to ensure that we are doing that and we provide the fleet with the highest quality individuals that we can. The mission for our schoolhouse is to train Marines from the 0311 MOSs and the 0621 MOSs and any tech MOS to come to our schoolhouse to be trained to become 8621s. So the mission of the CI Human Training Company is to train and certify both Navy and Marine Corps students in counterintelligence, human intelligence and interrogations. 
The mission of the school here is to train entry-level Marines and sailors, uh, the basics of the F-18 um, avionic systems. The mission of the Naval School of Music is to prepare students to be active members of the fleet forces. So the students are trained uh, to cover all facets of intelligence that they will be conducting out in the operational forces. So some of the practical applications that we do involve a lot of digging of the sensor equipment that we utilize. During each block of instruction, they'll begin with all classroom instruction, then they'll move into performance-based. They'll do a practical application and performance evaluation. RMOS here is trained in a few different settings, such as lecture, via PowerPoint instructions. We also have wire repair labs where the Marines and sailors get hands-on and get to build the connectors and repair wires that they'll be working on on the actual aircraft itself. They get private instruction from their individual instructors on the instruments and they get an opportunity to play it in different ensembles too. Uh, throughout their training, they're going to get different auditions to check and make sure that they're making the progress that they need to make. We have automated and non-automated uh, systems that we use, so the Marines are uh, well versed on using the automated systems such as our uh, computers to conduct um, intelligence in the field as well as non-automated systems such as the map boards. What we drive home here in the course really is, is trying to develop those real world scenarios so when we get into our Phoenix, uh, the Marines get a whole op order before getting into the Phoenix to really paint the picture for them. So one of the ways that we innovate here is forcing that human interaction, that human, human to human communication. Uh, really, the SAMT, our trainer here, is one of the, the most innovative. Um, it allows Marines and sailors to troubleshoot. We're able to input uh, real-life gripes that they would face on an actual aircraft and give them the opportunity to use the publications to correct them the right way. It makes us be creative about how we're going to instruct them because we need to meet them where they are. But we also need to get them to a certain level of success before they leave here. So everybody's education is tailored to an extent. Uh, intelligence is, is important to the Marine Corps' mission because uh, we do one of two things. We eliminate the bad guys and we save Marines' lives. Our occupational field is very important to the Marine Corps' mission because we act as a collection asset for the intelligence analyst and we can answer questions that other disciplines within the intelligence community cannot. This occupational field is extremely important to the Marine Corps' mission. We directly support the warfighter and we aid that, that commander in reducing uncertainty on the battlefield. Our occupational field, uh, like I said, is critical. We provide that close air support, reconnaissance, um, any time that, you know, that we're needed, our aircraft are flying. Our sensors are looking for enemies. We are identifying targets. Now we're creating different roles when we start on deployments. If we are, are afforded the opportunity to deploy, we're also afforded a lot of different roles, whether that means we're going to work in the armory, we're going to work on supply, we're going to work in company offices and that sort of thing. With that in mind, I think that gives a little bit more flexibility to the mission and that'll freeze up extra people to be able to do their jobs a little bit more strongly. So character is important to Marine Corps intelligence schools because we have Marines that work around uh, classified material and in classified environments. They need to be able to make those good decisions so um, you know, they can protect those, uh, that classified material as well as, more importantly, um, they make good decisions while they're conducting intelligence as well so that they can provide the commander with the best information possible and help save Marines' lives.